hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a teal and orange color grading in photoshop and if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that and also uh, please check out my animation youtube channel it's staple gates media i'm going to drop the link in the description below make sure you subscribe to the other channel and watch the videos then drop a comment and let me know what you think um okay so let's get started in today's tutorial here i have the photo in photoshop already then i'm going to duplicate this layer i'll click command j to duplicate then i'll go to filter and click camera raw filter we use camera raw to create the color grading okay so the first thing i'll do is go to calibration then i'll start adjusting the parameters here i'll go to red primary i'll change the hue and saturation i'll move the hue to positive 50 and then the saturation to negative 50. Then for the green primary, I'll change the E to 50. You can just type in 50 instead of using the slider. Then the saturation will be zero. I'll leave it at zero. Then for the blue primary, I'll change the E to negative 50. Just type it in and then the saturation to positive and red see here our picture is already looking nice so the next thing we go to the basic tab and then we change the temperature to negative seven then the tint we leave it at zero we leave the exposure at zero we go to the contrast we change it to positive 20 the highlights we change it to negative 30 okay then the shadows we take it to positive 20 i think the whites we leave it at zero the blacks we change it to negative 30. Texture, we leave it at zero. The clarity, we change it to positive 10. We leave that the A is at zero. We change the vibrance to positive 30. Scroll down. Then the saturation. We leave it at zero then the next tab we go is curve we're going to adjust the curve as well you can just put in 20 and 20 for input and output and that's it for that then we can go ahead and save this preset okay we click on these three lines here I'm going to see where you click on save settings we'll go ahead and save settings then click save then you can name it whatever you want i'll name it teal and orange preset we click save so we'll be able to reuse that preset later when you click this um two circles here the preset you're going to see the preset that you just created teal and orange preset then if you are done with the settings you are satisfied then you click ok and you just wait for it to load up and this is it this is the before and this is the after but when we look at it here we see that we don't want the teal on the clothes or in our eyes as you can see here our eyes is 
teal and the white aspect of our cloth here has changed to teal so we only want the teal on our skin on our hair we don't want it on our cloth okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask I'll click on the square um, icon with the circle inside and then we're going to see a mask layer there then we'll go ahead and pick our brush tool B I will click B for brush then we'll make sure our foreground color is black okay black is going to hide whatever we don't want and white is going to reveal whatever we want so we'll make sure our foreground color is black since we want to take away the teal from specific areas okay so you can use the brackets keys to increase your brush then you just paint on it and I, and I made my opacity and fill 100% so I'll go ahead and erase I can just erase it on the entire address or top so I'll just stick it away we don't want the teal there we only want the teal on our face on our skin rather Then we'll go ahead and fix the eyes as well. We'll just zoom in the eyes. Make sure our brush size is perfect. And we'll just take out the tear away from our eyes. So go away till come back white. Take my flow back to 100. Okay, all done. Then we zoom out, and this is what we have. The effect is perfectly on our skin alone, so we can see what we have before. And what we have after okay so I'm satisfied with this and if you feel it's too much you can also reduce the opacity and get your desired um, effect then we can also use the presets on other pictures I'm going to show you how to do that I already have another picture here so I'll go ahead and duplicate this layer as well click command J to duplicate then I'll go to filter and click camera raw filter and wait for it to load up and then I'll just go to the preset icon here and then I'll click teal and orange preset that I just created and click OK all right so here we have it if you feel this is too much as well you can just reduce the opacity to suit you okay if but when you feel this okay you can just export your pictures normally and save it you can export here or you click save as as you wish and that is it for this tutorial if you found this helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials give this video a thumbs up drop a comment to let me know what you think about this tutorial or if you have any questions i really appreciate that and see you on my next video 
Bye for now.